Hey, what's up everybody? Pin here. So for this tutorial, this is going to be how to properly set up uh, G-Sync. So if you have a G-Sync compatible display, if you have a G-Sync monitor, um, if you're primarily a PC gamer, this is going to be beneficial to you. So one thing you have to do is that you have to right click on your desktop and you're going to want something called the NVIDIA control panel. Because G-Sync is proprietary to NVIDIA. So we're gonna um, click on that. And G-Sync is NVIDIA solution to screen tearing. Um, it provides stutter-free gameplay, judder. It removes all the hitchiness. It's supposed to be smooth when you are gaming on your display, rather it is a television or rather it is a monitor. Um, the primary purpose of it is to have a smooth experience and eliminate screen tearing with as low latency as possible, um, when you are gaming. So here, um, I have my LG G sync monitor, 1440p native, and it goes up to 144 Hertz. So you want to go to where it says set up G sync and in the setup G-Sync in the NVIDIA control panel, you want to make sure that enable G-Sync and G-Sync compatible is checked. And I have it for enable for windowed and full screen mode, but you can also stick to full screen mode only. You know, that is your preference. That is your choice. And also you want to have selected for number three, enable settings for the selected display model. So G-Sync is turned on when you do all of those things. Now, I'm going to have a article linked in the description um, to where you can read through the recommended G-Sync settings and you can also get a feel for how it's set up and why it's set up that way. So essentially, I have a 144 Hertz monitor. So, the theory behind it is that you cap your frame rate really three to four frames below your monitor's refresh rate so that you can stay within the G-Sync range. Um, you will come across screen tearing. I have tested this in my uh, personal sessions to where there would be screen tearing as you can see in some games are bad than others to where if you go above the monitor's refresh rate, you start to get this tearing and things like that. So, but if you stay below it, you cap it three to four down below, you have like that G-Sync capability and everything's synced up properly. And then you're getting the lowest latency possible. So I'm going to go to manage 3D settings and more information about this would be in the description um, as well. So what you want to do here is you want to have vertical sync on globally in the NVIDIA control panel. And also you want to use a frame rate limiter. Now your options for that are in game limiters, but that isn't really recommended over the NVIDIA control panel or something called Reva Tuner Statistic Server. You know, so this is what I use as an optional program to where you, you can see my frame rate limit here is at 140 frames because I have a 144 hertz monitor. So I set a limit of 140. But you do not need to go the reefer tuner route. You can do this directly inside the NVIDIA control panel. So what you would do from here is that under max frame rate, you see I have it off because there's no point in having both of these on. When you turn this on, you can type in a value. So let's say you have 144 Hertz as well. Sometimes it can be a big finicky, my apologies. But essentially you would just move this bar and you can move the arrow keys on your keyboard until you hit where you want to be. Three to four frames below your refresh rate so 
You can hit cancel on that because I have it set up through Reba Tuner, but that's how you would do everything from the NVIDIA control panel aspect. So let's see how this will function in game. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to boot up a game and um, I'm going to show you my options in game and how I get smooth performance. Okay, so I'm resumed. I have the Epic Game Store up. Now I actually grabbed a copy of Saints Row. So it should be showing on screen. There we go. Okay, so let's actually put G-Sync into practice once you get into a game that allows you to um have like that variable refresh rate, that VRR and things of that nature, right? So I'm going to go to my options here and then I'm going to go to display. So I have my resolution correct. The refresh rate is set at 144 Hertz. You want V-Sync in the NVIDIA control panel to be on, but you want V-Sync to be off in game. And then pretty much once you do that, Everything else, as far as your options, um, is completely up to you as a PC gamer. Um, you just want to make sure that when certain titles, you know, you, you match your refresh rate. You see here, they're 60, 100, 120, 144, right? And then you just turn V-Sync off. And then that's going to give you a smooth experience. So I'm actually going to back out and... I. I'm, I'm going to do a, a video on this as well. Let's show some gameplay for this uh, demonstration. I mean, why not? I have my frame rate counter in the upper left hand right. corner of the screen. Eaten. And done. this Let's is with OBS in the background, but it seems to be some type of like frame rate glitch going on in this game. I really don't know why. You know how we should celebrate that. But karaoke. When I'm not yes. using OBS, the performance is pretty damn good. No screen tearing, no judder, no stutter. It's just smooth. It's above Siski. It's above 60 frames per second, even while I'm recording this video. And, um, looks good on my end. See, there we go. And, and, and that was, okay, just while recording, I have to do a little bit of like, you know, playing around, but that sums everything up for this video so um let me know what you guys think this is pan side out thank you for watching see you in the next video peace